Hey guys, it's Luna Brick here, this time with another video review. This time it's over the Lego Batman movie Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. Say that three times fast. So yeah, this was a set that I just picked up in my haul video, and it's really, really cool. So we're going to jump right into the minifigs. The main minifigure of the set, and probably the main reason you're going to get it, is Catwoman, who is a little bit different. And the other Catwoman we've got, mostly because she's all in purple rather than in black. Because most of the Catwomans that we've gotten have been uh, in a black jumpsuit. So I'll do a quick turnaround. She's in this very, very, very nice purple with black and silver accents. She has some really nice prints on the arms that look really, really cool. And she does come with a purple utility belt, which is also pretty cool and looks really good. I love the little zipper being a, a a little cat. I just think that's such an adorable little add-on. Her legs do have a little bit of printing on them, so that's cool. And she does come with the newer black whip piece. She uh, does have under does have a face underneath her helmet, which has these ginormous <laughs> green eyes and what I think might be a little beauty mark. I don't know if that's a beauty mark or if that's just my minifigure misprinted but i'm pretty sure it's a beauty mark because it's on both sides and as i just said she does have a dual-sided face of a more angry uh expression right here again she has a little beauty mark so i don't think that's a printing error and she does have some really good printing on the back of her uh, torso with this nice little spine looking uh print which looks really really cool so here it is here's her other face with her hat on which is really, really neat. This helmet is actually really cool. I don't know if it's a new piece or not. I think it's a new piece, but either way, it's really, really cute and looks really good on her. I like the little uh, silver print around her um, goggles. I kind of wish that the strap would be black, but that's fine. Overall, she's really, really cool looking. This is probably my favorite Lego uh, Catwoman that... Lego has released. She's just really, really adorable, and I just absolutely love this minifigure. Next up is Batgirl, who... This is my first Batgirl minifigure, and honestly, she looks really, really cool. She is uh, in purple, which is pretty cool, and mostly just purple and yellow, in all honesty. She has this nice uh, silky cape from one of the new capes with a little bit of metallic on the back, which looks really nice. And she has this new headpiece which looks really really cool she does come with two batterings in yellow which is nice to see her feet or her legs are dual molded with some really really good printing on there that just looks so nice i really do like it she has the new utility belt piece and a really neat torso print on the back of her uh torso she does have a little bit of print going on there but not too much and this is the newer cape, so you can move it without crinkling. And she does have an angrier expression on the other side of her face. And this is what it looks like with the mask on. But, um... Oh, I got that. The, the way the mask works is kind of interesting. I thought it was all one piece, but this is actually a second piece that snaps into this little peg right here. So you can move this left and right. All you want to rotate it completely so if you want you can have it like that if you want it to so she's falling or something but um the only thing about that is younger kids might lose that if they play with it or you might actually lose it and that kind of makes the cowl a little useless because it will have that giant peg sticking out of the back of the uh, helmet but overall she looks really really cool and she does have a little bit of arm printing as well which is pretty nice as well I do really, really dig this minifigure, and she is really cool. And finally, we have Robin. Now, Robin is a... I just... I don't know. I just love his design in the new Lego Batman movie. He just looks so cute. He looks kind of like Carrie Kelly mixed with Tim Drake, which is pretty neat. He has dual, uh, dual molded arms and dual molded legs, which is really, really cool. He has this really, really cool hair piece, which has the goggles attached to it, which looks really neat. Um, on one side of the face, he has this happy expression, and on the other side, he has a more worried, sad expression. And that's how it looks with the helmet on. 
so yeah, that's uh, that's some really cute facial expressions. He does have the newer cape that's a little shorter and it's a little metallic on one side, and you can move it easily and it won't crinkle. And he does have a little bit of back printing on his back, which is pretty cool. Overall, there isn't a whole lot going on with him. He doesn't come with a uh, accessory, sadly, but he does look really, really adorable, and I really do like this minifigure. And here is the main attraction of the set, which is Catwoman's Cat Cycle. Now, LEGO's made a lot of bikes, like a lot, a lot of bikes. So getting a bike that really does look awesome is always really nice because this looks really, really cool. I absolutely love the look of this bike. And usually I don't care too much for LEGO bikes, but this one, this one is just so good looking. It's entirely brick built. Which is really cool, but it doesn't, but it's not absolutely stupidly gigantic, which I really do appreciate. Because usually when they make brick build bikes, they're usually just absolutely massive and they just look kind of dumb. But this one manages just to look really, really cool while being brick build. It has a nice little exhaust like uh, build right here and this nice, really nice new metallic uh, coloring for this piece, which is really nice. Um, it does have some flat pieces underneath so that it rolls better, and it does roll just fine. It has these really nice purple wheels, which is really, really neat. And a very nice uh, purple light in the front, which is cool. And this is a printed piece. This is not a sticker. And that's a really, really cool printed piece. Now, Catwoman does, or any minifigure, but since this, it is her cycle, it just seems fit that she'd be the one to ride it. It does fit just fine in here. And since the handlebar is double jointed, it's really easy to get more control over where you want the minifigure to hold it, which is pretty nice overall. The seat is also on a hinge, but you can't move it too much because there is a little bit of a block right there. So you can only really move it straight up or just a little bit angled. I like to keep it a little bit angled, but that's just me. Overall, it is a pretty, pretty cool build. Articulation wise, I mean it is a vehicle so there isn't a whole lot, is you can move these exhausts anywhere that you want to and you can obviously move the handlebars. This can turn but really that's just because of the brick built thing. And this can rotate 360 which this is the little uh, backlight for the uh, bike which is pretty cool. Overall I really do love this build. It's such a nice looking bike. And it's not too stupidly giant to where I'm going to just think it looks silly. It fits the minifigure really well and it just looks really, really good. I just really love how this bike came out. And here is the second thing that comes with the set, or the second build that comes with the set, which is this little jewelry shop. Because obviously if Catwoman's stealing something, as always, it's going to be a jewelry shop. So... This is a really cute little build. It's not very big by any means. It's just uh, everything is on this little base plate or plate, which is, uh, again, not very big. The door does open. Now, I will point out one thing. I am missing one sticker, mostly because of the fact that I wanted to add this eventually to my city and build upon it. And I didn't want to have the closed sign on there. But it does come with a little sticker that... Um, I have right here that says closed that you would put on there, which is a little nice detail because this is supposed to be a night scene after all. And you can move the sign up and down a little bit so you can angle it how you want, but this is how it's recommended to have it angled. And this has this really, really cool little sticker on it of a piece of jewelry that's like a cat, which I think is pretty adorable. Has a nice little uh, awning over the door which is really cool and you can see the two jewels the set comes with um, and these are actually one by four brick pieces which is really nice i didn't i don't know i think these are new pieces actually but it is nice to get those in a one by four format rather than the usual one by two and this does come with a lamp post that the main play feature of it i think is a play feature is that you can just bring that down i guess to stop her bike or whatever or just have it be damaged so it falls down, which is kind of neat. 
It's a, it's a simple little build, but it looks really nice. And then there's this little trash can and another sticker of a help, which I think is hilarious because it's a cat in a tree, which is uh, really funny. And it's also just really, really cute, as you can see right there. It is a sticker, though. So, yeah. And then in the back, inside the actual jewelry shop itself, there isn't a whole lot going on that you didn't see from outside. There aren't, there isn't really anything aside from this. But the front looks really neat. I might take this and expand upon it and try to add it to my city because this is a really cute little build. So yeah, that's really all there is to that uh, part of the set. So here's everything that comes with the set itself. And this is a $20 set. And for $20, I feel like it's a really, really solid set. Now, like the Scarecrow Special Delivery, what I love about this set is it comes with a vehicle and a place set which is always really, really nice because I always feel like Lego makes too many vehicles and not enough play sets. So I appreciate that with the Lego Batman movie, they've been releasing, you know, more play sets, or at least if they have a vehicle, they add a mini play set build to it just to add to it. And it really does add a lot. Because to be honest, if you didn't have this and it was just this, I mean, it'd still be really, really cool, but it wouldn't be as good as it is now with this other, um, build added to the set i really don't have any complaints with the set aside from the fact that robin doesn't have an accessory which i feel is kind of weird you'd think he would i guess you could take the extra battering and give it to him and that's really my only complaint about the set honestly everything about it is just really really good for twenty dollars i i think this is a really great set you get three awesome minifigures two of which are the uh, what I believe to be the cheapest way to get Batgirl and Robin, and you get Catwoman, so you get three really, really good minifigures in a pretty cheap set, as well as a really cool bike and a little building piece, which is just really nice. So I do think this set is awesome, and I really just don't have any complaints to go with this set at all. So yeah, that's what I personally think about this set. So leave in the comments below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe, and the Luna Brick is out.